Hi everyone, this is Sunil here. Um, hope you're all doing great. And this session we'll be talking about the post load user exit. That is, uh, once data is loaded into the base object, then this user exit is going to run. Uh, why do I want to use it? I, ha I could have many business use cases. For example, I might want to uh, write to an audit table if something is loaded into my base object. I might want to uh, create a trigger or might uh, have a have some request like uh, something like I want to customize the message queue I want to create something like the message queue by myself not using the informatical logic or the most uh, simplest use case will be I just want to change the consolidation indicator status for some set of records to 9 because I want to put them uh, I want to hold those records or literally you can use it for anything right you have any situation any business uh, use case that uh, needs you to do that thing after data has been loaded into the base object immediately after data has been loaded into the base object then this is where you're going to use it right and uh, let's see the program this is the program that we're talking about this is a uh, uh, lot of different libraries it's importing and all that you can see here and basically the um, thing about Informatica's this uh, post load program is post load uh, user exit is uh, you can see that you there is one user exit context there is an action type that is uh, that will be insert for uh, if the record is inserted and and it will be updated if the record is updated and then I have a map right and this map is nothing but the base object uh, data this contains the base object data this uh, base object map and this xref data map is a java map that uh, uh, that uh, contains my cross reference data and this is the same thing but the only thing is this is only used if you are if you have enabled uh, dynamic timeline right otherwise not and then you can see it's basically um, opening up it's initializing this and checking the things uh, initializing it get uh, row batch uh, batch job row id okay and then here i go so finally i'm printing this particular record here i am uh, the record that was inserted into my base object i'm trying to print this record into a file you can see here this is my file so a file will be generated named uh, hub user exit pl .txt, which I have already ran and checked it and that is fine so you can see here that uh, <clears throat> I am printing this base object record here this cross reference record here and this will not be needed because I'm not using dynamic timeline and this is my below program that uh, prints it you can see it's just a map this is uh, this map contains my base object records and uh, I'm just typing it like a record count then the map type and uh, this is where the record is and when you actually run it uh, when you actually run it this is the output of the program you will see a file will be created in this and this is what it is this is the record that was inserted you can see the tagline is update that means this record was updated into the base object right not inserted and the count is one that is total only one record was loaded right uh, maybe this was done using either uh, real time or using uh, data manager or something uh, and then you have a row id object which is nothing but you, if you go to this program the row id object is the key and this is the value for example if you go here you can see here this is the row id object the get key and this is my value that is 92 and this is again the row id object similarly it's looping all the thing for all the fields like first one for row id object the second uh, key is last row id system then the third key okay similarly it's uh, getting all the values and it's fetching the record here right and uh, this is about the cross reference so you can see here the cross reference information row id system is lookups and all those things right so you can see all the logs here this is uh, you can see pretty big log this is my second record my third record and all those things okay so you can see all the logs here and, and basically this is the program this is the thing that was created as a result of this user exit program and everything every information is logged in here right so that is the that is my objective here and this is the program and you can go ahead and you can copy this program okay you can copy this program and convert it to a jar file and run it this is a slight a big activity because you need to load it load data into the base objects it's gonna take a lot of time so I have uh, um, I have done it uh, earlier so you can go ahead and try to do it um, for this program you can check the website and you can uh, copy this uh, program from the website right 
and I hope you understood the program might not be easy for uh, people who are coming from an ATL background but uh, still this is not a complicated uh, stuff it's not complicated program it's just a basic thing about uh, uh, enhanced part of uh, the post stage where we are just using the concept of uh, maps okay and list here right so that's it I think I hope you understood what's a post load user exit how to read uh, the data the data that is loaded the table name if you want then that is present in this user exit context the base of the table if you want uh, want uh, want for what you might want to restrict the user exit only for a particular table if you want that then that is available in this user exit context context okay and I hope you understood uh, what I was talking about and thank you very much for listening and you can check out my other videos thanks guys thank you very much